Team tracking all sides of the story all over the world. World News Tonight anchor David Muir in Paris. And World News Tonight anchor David Muir is there in Paris for us this morning. Good morning, David. Robin and George, good morning. A very powerful moment, that moment of silence a short time ago that you mentioned. We're in the Place de Republique, and you can see behind me the memorial that's growing here really by the hour. And it was here just 24 hours ago. There was that sudden chaotic stampede when someone set off a firework showing just how uneasy the people of Paris uh, are really feeling in the wake of these terror attacks. And we heard Terry Moran report just moments ago that siege going on in Brussels right now. And you can see here in Paris, they woke up to this image today, that possible eighth terrorist, that manhunt, the fugitive on the run, everyone aware of this man, just as the prime minister here saying, we don't want to scare people, but we do want to warn them. We believe more terrorist attacks are planned both here in France and in Europe in the coming weeks. The deputy mayor here telling us the entire city yes. stunned. When you see the bullet holes straight through the windows of the restaurants that they drove by and fired in on innocent people, that's something that's entirely new. Yes. I must say, this is not Paris. This is not Paris. And amidst the horror, the tragedy, tales of hope and heroics, Roman Renewal says he lived near two of the restaurants that came under attack and felt it was his duty to be there beside the dying. So why did you kneel down beside them? Why could I do? Ignore them? I just say, do what you can. You're not a doctor. You can't help. You can just show feelings to people. Don't let people die alone. We've been traveling throughout Paris, and just to give you an idea of the scope of the response here after the terror attacks, more than 150 searches, 23 arrests, and as we're on the air here this morning, 104 people under house arrest right now. And Robin and George, that was an incredibly powerful thing to hear from that man named Roman just a short time ago, who said he lived near two of those restaurants, went outside to kneel beside the people who were dying. Uh, he said there were multiple medics there, but they simply couldn't get to everyone, mm. and he thought it was the least they deserved to have someone bear witness uh, to what was happening in their final moments. Right. What Thank an you, act. Okay, David, thanks very much. Hunting for terrorists at World News Tonight anchor David Muir is there for us again this morning. Good morning, David. Robin, great to be back with you this morning. And as you mentioned, those anti-terror raids continued overnight. In fact, 128 raids in Paris and in the suburbs surrounding. In fact, French authorities uh, revealing this number, and it's a staggering one this morning, that they believe there are 10,000 people who've been radicalized in their country alone uh, that they're concerned about this morning. And President Hollande in the last 24 hours asking to extend the state of emergency here by three months, which would extend the powers to continue these anti-terror raids. Also this morning, the international manhunt continues for the so-called eighth attacker. The suburbs of Paris, they believe that he and his brother, another attacker who killed himself, actually rented a home in the Paris suburbs. It's been reported, in fact, that the woman who rented the home to them said they were calm, they were polite, and that they were here doing, quote, business uh, from Belgium. And this morning, an image to share with you about a city trying to rebuild the Eiffel Tower overnight, lit in the French national colors. And in the shadow of the tower, we met so many Americans who were here who simply showed up at the tower because they wanted the people of Paris to know that they care. But one couple in particular, Robin and George, from Austin, Texas, who were here Friday night, uh, the wife celebrating her 40th birthday, and they were at the top of the Eiffel Tower when they got the news of the terror attacks, their friends back home, their family back home in Texas, texting them about the attacks. And so when we were there last night, they said before they went home, they wanted to return to the tower mm. to see it lit up in those colors uh, to honor the people of France. Well, going back there, David. All right. Thank you so much. And David, we'll see you this evening on World News Tonight. World News Tonight anchor David Muir has been on the scene since the raid began this morning. David. And Robin, we witnessed an incredible scene here. You know, when we arrived, there was a line of ambulances. They were really prepared for anything. And it was a terrifying start for the families who lived here. SWAT teams moving in under the cover of darkness about 420 this morning. You can see still a heavy police presence here behind me. That raid ending just a short time ago. But the searching does continue. And we have just learned this morning what drew them to this neighborhood. They have been studying cell phone records since Friday night, since those deadly attacks here in Paris. And those 
those cell phone records they believe led them to the mastermind in one of the apartments here. But when they stormed into those two apartments, a female suicide bomber detonating her belt, another suspected attacker killed with a grenade. All of this as they were warning everyone who lives around the square and in this neighborhood to stay indoors and lock the windows. Abdel Hamid Aboud has not been found, the so-called mastermind, but again, two dead, multiple arrests here. Five French police officers, members of this elite SWAT team that moved in, were injured during this operation. And we've learned this morning that one of the police canines was killed in the raid and across France already today on Twitter and elsewhere on social media. They're honoring the SWAT teams who moved in quickly and, of course, that canine that was lost. This whole country transfixed by this race to catch the attackers, the so-called eighth attacker, a ninth, a possible ninth attacker, a second fugitive on the run, and of course this mastermind that they thought they were zeroing in on just behind me down this street today where the searching does continue at this hour. Robin and George. Okay, David, thanks very much.